Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Here today, I am going to do a critique on some photos that have been submitted by the members of GF Crew. So uh, let me get started. Uh, I will say to start off with, uh, in the future going forward, I will do a little video on how to put all the information into the IPTC file so we don't have Word documents that we can't read and photo mechanic, etc., etc. But other than that, let's get to the images. Okay, this first image is from um, Gary Atkins. And uh, Gary, it looks like you really overprocessed this. Um, I know there are a lot of tools available to us in Photoshop and Lightroom and many other programs, but honestly, these cameras are great. And if you're not getting a sharp picture to begin with, uh, with, you know, maybe a little noise, but, but uh, the goal is not to completely eliminate everything the goal is to just make a nice picture and it should stand on its own uh the runner's head is down i don't see a face i see faces of people behind him who are not that active except for the guy 55 on the uh right of the frame and uh it basically he's being tackled and as uh, a friend of mine says uh, many many times every football play ends in a tackle so um you know, not a bad picture. Of course, you've got that arm coming in on the left side. Not a bad picture. Not a great picture. Again, horribly overprocessed. I don't know how much of a frame this is pulled out of. It says it's at ISO 1280 with a Nikon D7500. Well, I don't know much about Nikon. So, uh, Gary, it's you again. Okay, um, and what's happening in this picture? These guys are running away, and the ball's coming. Uh, there's no there there here. There's a ball. There's players. There's no focus uh, in terms of focusing on some part of the image. Uh, so again, you're you're really you're reaching for something that's not there. Okay, um, this is from Gary. Gary, you're the overprocessing king, I think, this week. Um, you know, uh, the running back's good and the defensive back's good, but in between, number seven kind of ruins the picture because that's where your eye goes and he's facing away and not doing anything. If you could magically eliminate him or, you know, technically eliminate him, um, you would not be upholding journalistic standards, but you'd have a, at least some kind of a picture. Uh, again, as I often am tempted to ask, what happened after this? Did this number seven clear out? Did these guys collide? Was there a tackle? Was there something? Right here again, serious overprocessing. Uh, I know you guys shoot in bad light, but still, this is, um, you're at 1280 ISO, you're at 28 of the thousandth. You're doing all you can, but I, I think it's better to let the noise go a little bit than just, um, you know, and what is this, a 125 millimeter shooting with a zoom? You need to be tighter so you don't have to artificially enhance the picture that much. Okay. Um, where's the next frame? What are you shooting with? The D600. I don't know how many frames a second that goes, but I would think that you'd have another frame where that ball got to that glove. I mean, this is very clean. You know what's great about it? The background. It's a uh, 200 millimeter at f2.8, so you don't need a 400 2.8 to take the background out. It's, it's wide open, 200 2.8. The background is gone. It's clean. It's really clean. This is really nice. She's very well. She's sharp. She's got a good expression. She's got the glove up. But the ball is too far away. You know, I mean, I think the picture is almost better without the ball in it. The ball is, is just a little too far away. And it seems like there was a next frame where the ball got there. And that would have been the frame that you wanted to use. Uh, but this is nice. Uh, this is nice for a lot of reasons. Background, it's clean. Obviously, it's a daytime shot. So it's, it's um, uh, ISO 320, you know, easy peasy. No need for a lot of extra processing. Um, but it's a good shot. Very good. 
Okay, again, you know, nothing like daytime baseball there. Uh, now the ball's in the glove. Uh, she's stretching out. I see concentration in her face. I see some kind of focus. It's, it's cropped pretty well. It could have been, uh, I would say it could have been about 20% tighter. Um, you know, you could have come down about here, could have taken this dirt out. I know you guys sometimes have to shoot to prescribed cropping ratios, but in, in, in my world, I'm just thinking about the best picture, and this could have been cropped a little tighter. It would be a lot more dramatic if it was cropped a little tighter. But um, nevertheless, it's a good picture. She's got the ball. She's got, you've got the face. It's sharp. Again, ISO 320, 200 millimeters, F28. Again, the background far enough away that it's out of focus and clean. Clean. Clean backgrounds. Very important. Okay, good job. Okay, the big problem with soccer until you reach the Champions League or the EPL or anything like that is that players look down all the time to see the ball. And that's what these girls are doing. They're looking at the ball. They want to see where it is. They want to kick it. Um, this is a so-so soccer action picture. I mean, I've become pretty harsh on soccer after watching a lot of it and shooting some MLS that, you know, just dribbling the ball down the field – it's like dribbling the ball down the basketball court. What's good is the shot, the pass, the header, the you know the the things like that. The the stuff that does not happen ninety percent of the game. Um, but in that sense, it's sharp. Uh, your background is out of focus. You kind of got a little tough with the person, the player in white in the background. Um, but that's soccer. It's messy. You know, all sports are messy. So, um, you know, again, sharp, uh, what do we got here? A 300 millimeter lens, a 2.8. So, yes, you're, you're, you're doing that. But, I, you know, I, I don't feel a lot of real. There's some really great action in soccer. But like baseball, it happens momentarily. And then it goes back to a lot of kicking the ball around. And, again, with these younger players, they are always looking down. Okay, solo dribbling. Well, clean, clean, um, you know, clean background. It's sharp. Uh, it's a, you know, 3028. You're at 4,000 ISO, but it, it looks really pretty good. It looks like you didn't have to do a lot to it. Um, these are by uh, Mike Anderson, by the way. And let me just make sure. Yeah, Mike Anderson. Oh, and the good baseball, that was Jeff Allen. Good job, Jeff. Good job. So, Mike, um, again, it's fine. And, again, if you're shooting for this young lady's parents, you're doing a fine shot. But she's got a look of concentration. But, again, the eyes are down. Eyes are down in the field. Ball is, you know, ball's in front of her. She's obviously going to kick it. This is not a bad shot. It's just a conventional shot. But, but um, you know, but well done, Mike. Oh, See, this is what I mean. You've got a little action going here. we got a little, you know, they are contesting that ball. I mean, this isn't, you know, nobody's going to get, you know, nobody's going to flop. Nobody's going to get tackled. But this is really good. This is um, Jason Brett. Jason Brent. Jason Brent. Jason, I think you're going to take my workshop. This, this So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Um yeah, you got something going here. You you got this is the kind of thing contact action. Yeah, their eyes are down. Of course, their eyes are down. But but legs are up. Balls between them. They're contesting it. There's a little body action. This is a nice shot. Nice shot, Jason. Again, not quite as good because it's not coming at you. But again, you're you're getting the point that soccer is not just about dribbling the ball. Soccer is about fighting for the ball, contesting the ball. You've also got the, the uh, young lady in pink has got great expressions. Um, you know, again, this is, this, is, this is good. Your backgrounds, your, what are you shooting at? A, uh, a 200, a 28. You're taking, even though you've got, well, you got a truck, you got a Prius, you got a couple of things in the background there, but they're pretty far out. And this is, again, this is not long lens is 200 millimeters but it's wide open it's at f28 you don't gain any sharpness by stopping down on telephoto lenses 
So you've got a high shutter speed, 2,000th to freeze it, and you're still able to bring in a pretty low ISO, 125. Yeah, you got a nice sunny day. But uh, good, uh, you know, another good soccer action shot. Okay, this is David uh, Chopkinski. Forgive me, my pronunciations. This type is really small. All right, you are shooting this uh, number 54. This is a good picture. He's an end, he's an end rusher. He's an outside rusher. He's coming for the quarterback. Um, you know, again, you've got your background pretty, pretty far out. There's going to be other players on the football field, so they're going to be there. Um, you know, uh, I think this is a good shot. It's well framed. The feet are off the ground. Um, yeah, this, this is, this is nice. This is good. What are your, what's your ISO here? 4,000. Well, yeah, it looks pretty clean. It looks like you didn't do too much to fix it, which is sharpening, noise reduction. It always shows. It always shows. It's not worth what you get from it, by and large, unless you're really, really good. So, in any case, uh, I like this shot. I, I think it's a great shot at 54. He's doing what he does. He's he's clear. I've been shooting. I shot this weekend. I shot two games. I shot both uh, the Rams and the Charger game. And it happened that the two Boza brothers played, one for the uh, Niners and one for the Chargers. And shooting a guy who's really good, he's always double teamed. You can't see him. You think, oh, boy, he's going to tear it up. Same thing with Watt for the Steelers. They double-team him. You see the back of some offensive lineman. No, this is a good, this is very, very nice, uh, David. Okay, here's another one from David. <sighs> action, but not active action. I mean, yeah, it's tight. It's sharp. The guy's got the ball. He's about to be tackled. But I just don't feel any... I don't know. It's like he could be. You could have set this up. You could have had him stand there, lean forward, open up his eyes, and have the guy come behind him. There's no feeling of motion here that that I would like to see. But again, clean, sharp, good faces. You're shooting number sixteen. You got a picture. Okay, Doug Clements, volleyball. I think this is a good volleyball shot. I find volleyball, especially indoor volleyball, very hard to shoot. But here you've got, you know, you shot through the net, but she, yet she's in focus. The ball, hand on the ball, blocker going up. You, I like the symmetry between the two girls, the girl in orange, the girl in blue, both down, ready ready for a save, ready for a dive. Um, you know, I probably would have just taken a little bit off this side just a little bit to knock down that door a little bit more. But, gosh, this is a very good very good shot. Very, very nice job. All right, Doug, again. Yeah, you shoot volleyball, don't you? Yeah, this is a dig. A nice one. Um, I Not much I would say about that. I mean, it's, it fits. I would maybe crop top and bottom a little bit if that fit. It's almost a horizontal shot if you knock it down like that. But... Boy, the ball's right there. It's sharp. The face is good. You know, she's got leg movement. Um, this is good. This is what indoor volleyball is all about. This is what you try and capture. So uh, 8,000 ISO looks good. Oh, you're using a Canon EOS 1DX. Of course it looks good. Uh, <laughs> no, I think this is a, this is an excellent, uh, excellent shot. Uh, Doug, I think he did a good job here. Okay, is this Doug again? Yeah, the king of volleyball. Yeah, almost. I mean, good, good. She's in the air. She's going for the ball. I would like to see in a perfect world, I'd like to see the ball a little closer to her hand. But you've got face, you've got expression. She's looking at, you know, she, she's looking right at the ball. The background, you're at a, a 135 uh, at F35. <clears throat> So your background's pretty far out of focus. It could be more, perhaps, if you were a 2.8, if you had that option. But um, it, it just doesn't have the uh, fullness of the other two shots that you had in here. But I, but I think, again, it's a good shot, and especially if you're shooting, as you guys do, I know, you shoot for the parents, you shoot individual players. This is a nice one. The parents will like this.
Ah, uh, okay. Who is this? This is uh, Cliff. Cliff Lavelle. Okay. Um, it's a excellent moment. It just has a funny look to it because it's so frozen and he is so straight. The receiver, 81. He is so straight and you have no face on, on the DB. Um, now, this is a good action picture. It just doesn't have any action in it in, in a weird way. Um, it's just funny the way it struck me. But again, backgrounds, good choice of background. No cars, no no moms and dads and folding chairs, no chain link fences. Excellent on that regard. 400 millimeter F3.2, so it's a 428. Um, it's just a funny kind of moment. And I just wonder, again, was there a frame before this where he was reaching for the ball? Uh, or a frame after this where he was going over the back of the DB. Uh, it's it's like, it's almost too clean. But it's a good shot. It's an excellent shot, and it's, it's uh, you know, well done. Well done, uh, Cliff. Okay. Um, looks like a little holding going on to me. But, um, you know, again, this is, this is sharp. It's not overly processed. Uh, 4028, okay, you're going to get that. I like the guy behind because he's got good action. Um, the prominent player in, in, in gray heads down a little bit. You don't have a feeling of what, he, what he's doing, but, you know, um, it's, it's a tackle. It's a tackle. It's not holding. It's a tackle. So, um, you know, again, a, a pretty good shot. Probably could crop it a little bit on... Uh, on this side, chop it in a little bit, maybe top and bottom. But again, if you have to fit a format, you have to fit a format. Uh, but this is a this is a nice football action shot. Okay, Cliff again. Um, well, all right, here we're going into the. Is this a picture that you had to shoot uh, for number 70's uh, parents or number 63's family? Because um, if it is. Uh, it's fine. Otherwise, it's sort of a non-picture. I mean, there are two guys. There's an offensive uh, lineman, a defensive lineman, and they're not contesting with each other. They're just kind of like, oh, yeah, okay, I know you're there. The play's obviously way over on the other side of the, the ball. Um, so in that sense, it, it kind of lacks action. But in the sense of showing two players that are in positions that are more challenging to shoot than, say, a quarterback or a running back. Uh, it's a good job. Okay, uh, Ryan, Ryan Clayton. Okay, Ryan. Um, I like I like the kid in blue because he's got an expression, but basically um, they're not close to each other. The ball's between them. They are looking up. Um, the background, you are at 6-3. Come on, dude. You need to be at wide open, and I'm hoping you've got a lens that's faster than 6-3. You're at 205 millimeters, so you're in some kind of longer range zoom, so maybe you're not. Maybe 6-3 is all you got. 6-3 is not enough to make the you know, silver station wagon and the red sedan behind you out of focus. That's where my eye goes. And that little reflection, that little dot off the mirror, that's that's where my eye goes first. Your eye goes to the brightest part of the photo first. And so it's very distracting. Now i got to wander back. i got to see these. Okay, here's this kid. That's not a bad picture, although he's running with his arms down. You want the arms up. This kid's going, eh, you know. Um, I don't know. It, it, there's good elements in here, but they don't really come together. Okay, um, one of the things I talk about a lot in my workshops is trying not to cut limbs off. And I can live with the foot, but I can, um, uh, the hand is really uh, difficult. That's, that's tough. Um, again, all plays in football and in a tackle. This is a tackle. Uh, again, where's the picture before it? Where's the picture where he's going down, where he's being grabbed and, and forced to the ground, where I, I have his hand in it? Um, you know, I have his legs, maybe. Uh, it's just, 
yeah, it's sharp uh, and all that, but um, you know, it's it's uh, it's just not that much of a picture to me. And that was Sean Walker. Sorry, Sean, but but uh, you know, I think uh, just getting something a little before that has uh, would would have been a lot better picture. Okay, this is nice. This definitely needs a crop. I don't care what you're, what size you're supposed to be at, but this definitely needs needs to be, you know, all you know, boom, boom, boom. We do not need that grass. We do not need those trees. We need to focus in. Uh, your 200 millimeters f4. You're far enough away to get the porta potties and the trash can pretty much out of the background. Um, the trees are nice. That's good. But again, um, all I'd say on this, I'd say this is really peak, peak, peak action. Uh, give it a crop, as I said. Try it tighter, and then try it horizontal. Just boom, right across there, right across there. Well, the expression "better late than never" comes to mind here. <clears throat> this picture is long gone. I mean, you had them in focus. You were on them. Um, is this the first time you could get off a frame? Because he did throw that ball, I'm assuming, unless it just passed over his head. So you, you got to get a, you know, the ball that far from the hand, the hand, the arm down like that, it doesn't work. I mean, again, you've done what you can with the background. You're at F4, uh, you know, <clears throat> 400 millimeter. So you've got all the necessary. And again, if, if you were, had the ball in the hand, you could then drop your framing so you could have his whole his whole body, his feet, everything, and uh, you know you'd have a picture. You'd have a picture, and uh, that's Sean again. So, um, you know you got to get on these things sooner. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, I know the feeder is slightly cut off, but. But this is a really good picture. This was a 70 millimeter, so you had something maybe around your neck. Um, he's making the catch. This guy's looking at him. I lo what I love in this picture is everybody on the field is looking to the receiver. The DB has been beaten, the ref, the guys over here, they all focus in on this guy. Uh, I would not cry. I maybe tighten this up on the edges, but I would not crop this to be what you could do to be just him. No, this is one of these pictures. This is what we call a scene setter. So excellent work, uh, Brian Wilkes. Excellent. Very nice. Well, okay, that looks like that's what we got this week. <clears throat> Thank you for your submissions. Uh, give me more. Give me more. I, I can do this all day. Uh, Mark doesn't want me to, but I can. <laughs> uh, so thanks again. Uh, keep going with GF Crew. It is a great way to make money doing this. It's something that we all love and make some money at it. Um, good shooting. Uh, subscribe. I do have a workshop coming up in Las Vegas. There's still a few spots open. Check my website, peterreedmiller.com. Uh, information there. Link to the registration. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, on Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller, and uh, keep working on GF Crew. Thanks a lot. Good shooting. I want to thank my friends at GF Crew for making this video possible. If you want to make money shooting action sports, check out GF Crew. Go to gfcrew.com to join. It's free. They have a whole process and an app set up to help you make money shooting sports. Check it out. Get started today.